While I was taking pictures in San Francisco one time, I took a picture of a stairway that kind of looked like this. I'm going to show you the picture at the end of the video, but give me an idea about using posts and concrete footings to provide additional support for the stair stringers and for the hand railing with the post and the footings. You're probably not going to be able to push the handrail from side to side very much. Uh, you're going to get a nice connection. So this right here is a good way to build something like this. Zoom in on the post and the footings. Make sure that the soil does not go, um, it's not touching the woods, which would require the footing actually to stick out of the ground a little bit. Go to the side here. We can see where the posts are connecting to the top of the handrail or guardrail, I should say. And this is a nice connection. Over here, you're not going to have that as much. The post that is just attached to the stringer, especially if it's a 2x12, is going, you're going to be able to move this. Am I, am I suggesting that you're going to be able to move it enough to where you can push it over? Probably not with a uh, construction like this. So would something like this work? Yes, you're just, it's just something like this on the other side is going to work better. Going to cost you more money. You're going to have to put the uh, footings in. Understand that. But, you know, if you build a stairway like this and the stringers are 2x12s, which they, they could only be 2x12s, a situation like this, the stringer would need to be a 4x12. A situation like this, the stair stringer could actually be a 2x12. Whether that would save you enough money to justify digging the other footings if you're looking for something as cheap as possible, I would imagine two 4x12 stringers with something bolted on the side would be the cheapest way to do it. But um, attaching 4x4s onto a um, 4x12 stringer would probably be fine in a situation like this. But uh, this right here is going to be better for the handrail, uh, you know, because you're, you're adding the support by connecting it to the stringer, whether it's a 4x12 or a 2x12. So if I was actually going to build a stairway like this, I would probably use the footings on the side of a hill with 2x12s and attach everything to the um, post. And if the wood starts to rot after a while, you can just replace sections of it. You don't need to replace, uh, you know, if you actually had a section, um, let me go back to this scene here. If you actually had, um, let's say you had water damage here for a situation like this, you could actually cut a section of the stair stringer out and then replace that section without replacing the whole stringer. So something like this actually might work out great for a repair also. Here's the original picture. You can see the handrails that kind of stayed to the design. And we have the posts. Um, hopefully they're not um, sitting in the soil or any soil is, is touching the wood posts. Big no-no. We will, won't look at that any closer. Um, try to avoid having plants growing through your um, stairs. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but something like this, this plant will provide shade and moisture for the wood. And um, over time, it can, um, you know, if you don't do anything about it, the moisture, of course, is going to remain on the wood stairs longer. And of course, uh, in San Francisco, I would imagine where I took the picture, you have a lot of problem with areas like this that do not get a lot of sun. And if that's the case, absolutely no plants around them. Keep them, keep them away from the stairways uh, to avoid any chance of moisture um, sitting on top of the wood. Here's a good example of what I was talking about where the treads are, are not um, in between the stringers. They're actually sticking out past. I don't like this. I, I don't think it would be a problem structurally, but of course, aesthetically, it just doesn't look nice. Uh, this provides us with another example of what I said, where the wood post is not connected to anything. This doesn't have a lot of strength to it. And then, of course, I will avoid talking about the different riser heights here uh, and the trip hazard here at the bottom. 
But uh, anyway, hope this gives you an idea. If you are going to build a stairway like this, these posts are an excellent way to um, build it. And here you can actually see, I don't know if they did this out of necessity, but let's just say that you had wood damage here. You could actually just cut it out here and replace just one section of it. Um, same thing with the stringer. You could just, if one, if the upper section was perfectly fine, then just remove this section, replace it. And I would imagine for this stairway right here, you are going to have to replace this one here because I can see the dirt right there up against it. So big no-no. So anyway, that's it for this video and it is off to the next one.